So we've been away for quite a while and I'm finally back with some videos. Today I'm just going to review our projector as some of you have requested. So we bought this ultra short throw projector last year during an IT show for about 1.6k dollars and it's one of the best purchases. So let's talk about the unique features and capabilities. And this is the JMG-01 Pro Ultra Short Throw Smart LED Projector. It is one of the cheapest in the market when it comes to like Ultra Short Throw. And these are the specifications. It is 180dp, F, Full HD, and it looks sleek and minimalist. So to be honest, it's rather compact for a projector. And it's also probably the cheapest in the market. This is actually way cheaper than the Samsung one that we actually saw during the one of the IT show as well. So you can project a massive 80 to 110 inches um, screen on any projection surface as long as it is actually smooth. And when it comes to the placement of the projector, it needs to be about 9 inches away from the wall or from the screen. So you do need to consider if you're getting this. And JMG will actually co-engineered with Leica to deliver like great quality images. So with better lenses, I must say that the image quality produced is pretty amazing. So the colors definitely look more vivid and saturated and there's higher contrast. It comes with a suite of smart features like autofocus and keystone correction. These are very two important features. So the keystone correction is enabled by the sensors and AI cameras that are already installed in the device itself. So we really highly recommend you to actually get a projector screen for better viewing experience if you're buying this projector because the HDB walls are not entirely flat and for us the wall is not flat so we had to make adjustments but we managed to correct the distorted images after making some adjustments using the keystone correction feature. So that is actually a very useful feature itself. So the other feature of the projector is a 10 watt speaker which produces a very powerful stereo sound and is able to boost the bass sound so it's actually very really audible throughout the house, it's really loud and the sound system actually earned the dual certification from Adobe Audio and DSC HD. So I would say in terms of sound quality, we don't even actually need a soundbar. And it also has this low latency mode which works great for casual gamers and also is equipped with this the digital art gallery music visualizer that you see right here. So you can put up like nice images and then you can like project it onto the screen, it's like an artwork on its own. So this is the remote control. You can control the device via the JMGO app as well or you can use any other smart apps to actually control the projector. Even the design of the remote is very sleek and minimalist looking too, so which I like. And I guess one of the major cons of using this projector is actually the viewing experience when it comes to daytime because the sun is actually shining directly onto the projection surface and therefore the image quality is affected. As you can see that the image is, you know, it's a bit white washed out. So to rectify this, we just need to actually close our blinds or put down the shades so that, you know, the environment is a little bit dimmer and then the image what comes out will be more um, will be sharper. So we just close our Venetian blinds partially, just allow some light to come in and then we can still use the projector during the daytime, uh, you know, when the sun is out as well. So the living room may appear a bit dark but we didn't really see much of that issue because it is like not entirely dark dark. You can still see what's like, you know, the things around. So other than that, we really can't find any other cons with this projector. We're just hoping that this projector will last us for years because it's a really, really good um, solid projector. And as for cleaning wise, um, you just need to wipe down the surface. Sometimes it will get dusty after some time. And also the lens uh, glass layer area is where the image, is, the light is being um, shown through, right? So this part will get dusty. So you just use a microfiber cloth to gently clean it and then to like just, you know, dust off and that's about it. And behind the projector, there are like seven ports over there. So you can connect to your HDMI cables and stuff. And in terms of like the surface area, it is definitely much smaller than a regular television. So in terms of maintenance, this is definitely easier to maintain. So this is actually a clear winner for me. So overall, we find that this is really a good investment because we really enjoy that movie theater experience that this projector actually brings. And we really enjoy just watching shows on our projector. 
and I really hope that you find this review useful and if you have any other questions do feel free to comment in the comment box below and then we will try to our best to answer them and I'll see you in the next video and also if there's anything else you would like us to share please let us know in the comment box below and I'll try to make content around it thank you so much for the support and God bless you